Kevin! Hey, DJ. What are you doing out here? Just hanging out. The dance is lame, so we started our own party. You're drinking beer. Yeah, tastes horrible. Want some? No, I don't want some. You guys aren't supposed to be drinking beer. Big deal. We're just having some fun. Try it. <gasps> Cut it out. You didn't have to do that. Look, I'm sorry, DJ. I'll go get some paper towels. Why don't you guys just get out of here? You are so uncool. Oh, and you think you're cool? The dance was lame. Now we're having a party. Forget it, DJ. We don't want any beer. Yeah, we're only 13. DJ Tanner. Uncle Jesse. You're in big, big trouble, young lady. All right, save it. I saw the whole thing. Come on, you're going home. Uncle Jesse? DJ, where are you going? Home. She doesn't feel well. Uh, oh, 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 what's going on here? I was not drinking beer. You were not drinking what? Then I saw the whole thing. She had a beer in her hand. She's waving around. She's talking about partying. The other kids were drinking. I was telling them how stupid they looked. Hey, Deej, everybody makes mistakes, and we know how hard it is when the other kids are drinking and they offer you a drink. I know drinking is wrong. We already had this talk. That's why I didn't do it. I'm telling you the truth. All right, like you were telling us the truth about your homework, and you weren't exactly honest about this marching backup band tonight. That was totally different. You believe me, don't you, Dad? I'd like to, but you do smell like beer. Someone spilled it on me, really. DJ, go to your room. I'm going to talk to Jesse, and then I'll come up and talk to you. This is so unfair. How could you take his side instead of believing your own daughter? How could they do this? I was telling the truth. I don't deserve to be treated this way. I didn't do anything. What didn't you do? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Nobody believes me anyway. Not Uncle Jesse, not Joey, not even Dad. <laughs> I believe you, DJ. You do? Of course I do. You're my big sister. And besides that, you were looking right in my eyes. When you lie, you look at the top of my head. Big stuff. Kevin, have you seen DJ? Yeah, she's in there. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Tanner? Yeah? DJ wasn't drinking tonight. It was me and two other guys. She was trying to stop us. I owe you a big apology. You really hurt my feelings. I'm sorry for not believing you, pal. Well, I guess it did look kind of bad. And I did bend the truth a couple times this week. DJ, I want you to know why I lost my temper tonight. It just, it made me crazy thinking of my little niece out there starting to drink. I mean, this isn't fun and games here. You know, I've seen it happen to my friends. They think they have it under control. And before they know it, they've messed up their whole lives. That's why I'm so proud of you for making the right decision tonight. The sad truth is that you're going to be faced with a lot of tough decisions in your life. And not just about drinking, either. About, about drugs and about sex and who knows what. I just wish you could grow up in a world where... You can enjoy being a kid, but I'm sorry, pal. That's not the way it is. So, I hope that you'll use the same good judgment that you used tonight. Because I never want to see you get hurt. I love you so much. I love you too, Uncle Jesse. Thank you. All right. Let's go home, huh? 